Most ocarinas on Amazon are really, really bad. And that is one of the biggest detriments to the public perception of the ocarina at large. Hi, I'm Andy, and two years ago, I sought to stop people from buying the ubiquitous, terrible Ocarina of Time replicas that I like to call Ocarinas of Crap. Nearly 100,000 views later, maybe I've succeeded. However, these Ocarinas of Crap aren't the only cheap Ocarinas on Amazon. Brands like Ocarina Wind offer ceramic ocarinas for under $30, and they seem to have really good reviews. Are they just another scam, or are they worthwhile instruments? I've purchased seven cheap ocarinas from various vendors on Amazon. We'll see which are worthwhile and which you should avoid at all costs. Before we begin, make sure you're subscribed. I make ocarina and marketing content on the regular, and if you end up enjoying this video, be sure to leave a like as well. It really helps out. Let's get started. Here's the roundup. Every ocarina that I'm reviewing is a 12-hole transverse ocarina in the key of C. I have a $27 ceramic ocarina from a vendor called AWEF, a $19 ceramic from a vendor called Zragic, a $15 plastic from Woody, two ceramics from Ocarina Wind that are around $20, and two Ocarina of Time replicas from Ocarina Wind a $17 ceramic, and a $12 plastic. I'll have affiliate links in the description for each of these ocarinas should you want to try them out, but do not click on any of them until you've finished this video. You'll find out that some of these ocarinas are absolutely not worth buying, but maybe some of them will be worthwhile. Find out as we start the reviews. First off, we have the Joy of Thrush 12 Hole Alto C from AWEF. In the box, you'll have a carrying case with the ocarina, a neck strap, a playing guide, and a thank you card. The inside of the case is pretty nice with an ocarina shaped indentation. First, you can notice a really clear seam of where they put the instrument together. I don't know if that actually impacts the structural integrity, but we're more curious about whether it's a good instrument. So this ocarina is $25, and I'm frankly kind of impressed. While it is in tune, which is the most important thing, it's not perfect. The tone is pretty good, not amazing, and it has a very reasonable breath curve. The AOF has quite low breath pressure, which I'm not a huge fan of, but it's still in tune. The finger placement is a little unnatural compared to other ocarinas, but that said, it's something you could get used to. And aesthetically, it looks pretty good. The only issue being the very visible seam on the bottom. Next up, we have the porcelain looking Zragek. Zragek? I don't know. <laughs> in the box, you get the ocarina with a little case, a neck strap, and a how to play guide in Chinese. Interesting. Again, not bad at all. The Zregek has medium breath pressure, overall good tuning, and a pretty good sound. The ergonomics are a bit more normal than the AWEF as well. Like the AWEF, the Zragek one does have a visible seam on the bottom, as you can see right here. You can feel it a little bit more than you can see it. But once again, all in all, a decent ocarina. Is my thesis about Amazon ocarinas gonna be flawed? We haven't run into anything horrible yet. Next, we have a 12-hole plastic from a brand called Woody. They make a lot of inexpensive instruments beyond ocarinas, so let's see how their ocarina specifically sounds. In the box, there's an ocarina fingering chart on very cheap paper, and the instrument is in a little plastic bag surrounded by foam. Interesting. Here's the instrument. Now let's see how it sounds. The 
This is not good. It is out of tune, has very inconsistent breath pressure. Some of the notes don't even work. I could hit the highest note, which on most 12 volt ocarinas would be a high F, but I had to blow so softly that it was closer to an E or a D sharp. So out of tune. The tone quality was airy and frankly bad. This is a tiny ocarina, so the ergonomics were really awkward and cramped. Specifically, I have a problem with my right pinky. All the other fingers feel pretty natural, but the right pinky feels especially cramped and I have to bend it in a weird way to keep it on the, the hole. And while I do like the wooden look, it is not wood. It is plastic with a wooden paint job. But aside from the woody plastic ocarina, I was surprisingly pleased with these ocarinas that I tried. These two were in tune, sounded pretty good, and were really affordable, coming in at about $25 each. I certainly might have gotten lucky, as many cheap ocarina vendors on Amazon do have major quality control issues. But frankly, I was shocked that neither of these ocarinas had any glaring issues. But now, it's time to look into the most commonly seen ocarina vendor on Amazon, Ocarina Wind. I purchased four instruments from them. Two regular looking ceramic ocarinas and two ocarina of time replicas. One ceramic and one plastic. From what I've heard, ocarina wind is generally decent but has some problems. But with four instruments from one vendor, I think we can discern the truth. Let's go. First, we have the classic straw fire from Ocarina Wind. In the box, there's a case with an ocarina shaped indentation, a songbook, and a neck strap and cleaning cloth. I opened these boxes on different ends so they look different, but this is the exact same box as the AWEF Ocarina. The exact same case, too. Like, these are 100% the exact same ocarina cases. Same indentation, same color scheme, same zipper, same strap, same everything. And while the ocarinas are different, the AWEF is heavier, and their mouthpieces go at different angles, I'm a little suspicious. What's most likely is that these vendors buy from the same ocarina manufacturers, or at least ocarina case manufacturers. But you know, we may never know. But most importantly, how does the Ocarina Wind Straw Fire actually sound? This ocarina is well tuned, but not as good as most ocarinas that I would actually play. It also has very low breath pressure. I typically prefer ocarinas with medium to high breath pressure, so I played extremely sharp when I first blew into this ocarina. Additionally, on the highest notes, it is really easy to squeak or go airy. I had to use the acute bend technique where basically you lean forward while you play the highest notes. Here's without the acute bend. Here's with the acute bend. Even with the acute bend, you need really low breath pressure on the high notes, otherwise it will squeak. Last, I had no problems with the ergonomics on this ocarina, and it is quite pretty. Though once again, there is a visible seam. Since we've seen so many visible seams, they're not necessarily an indicator that the ocarina is bad, out of tune, or anything like that, but they are an indicator that they were hastily made. That said, if an ocarina is hastily made, it is more likely to have issues, whether that be tuning or something else. The Ocarina Wind Strawfire Ocarina has no ultra big glaring issues, but it's also not not good enough for me to wholeheartedly recommend. And if I wouldn't wholeheartedly recommend an ocarina, I wouldn't recommend it at all. Next up, we have the Dragon Tooth from Ocarina Wind. This one also has the exact same packaging as the Ocarina Wind Strawfire and the AWEF, as well as the same case. And it has the exact same songbook and neck strap as the Strawfire from Ocarina Wind. But again, most importantly, is it any good? Interesting. At first, I was gonna say this had decent tuning, but upon playing a song, I changed my mind. The tuning is mostly okay, but there are a few notes that are definitely out of tune, like the high D. That is not an octave jump, that is like a seventh jump. That's like a C sharp, maybe. The reason I have problems with the tuning is because of the breath pressure. The lowest notes require next to no air, making them really easy to overblow and go sharp on. But on the other hand, the highest notes require so much air to be in tune. Like I had to blow way harder than normal to get the high notes in tune. So because of that, it's really easy to go sharp on the low notes and flat on the high notes, making it feel very out of tune, especially when you have wide jumps in your notes. Here's a quick C to C. 
That does not sound like an octave jump. That sounds like a seventh jump. The bad tuning caused by the far too dynamic breath pressure makes it so I can't recommend this ocarina. That said, the tone quality was okay, the ergonomics were fine, and this is a pretty instrument. But because of how bad the breath curve is, I cannot recommend this ocarina. Next up, we have really cheap Zelda replicas. Oh no. You know the drill. Same box, case, booklet, and strap as the other ocarina wind instruments. The one difference is that the ocarina is in bubble wrap. Whoa! And inside the bubble wrap is another layer of plastic wrap. So unnecessary. It's like they're trying to protect you from the instrument because you know it's not gonna be good. This was a $17 Ocarina of Time replica and it looks and feels just like the crappy one I destroyed two years ago. But let's see how this sounds. Huh. This is bad, but as ocarinas of crap go, it's better than the one I tried last time. There are high notes to be played, but they're not in tune. On top of having some notes that are out of tune, this one has the same breath pressure problem as the Dragon Tooth. The low notes are really low breath pressure and the high notes are very high breath pressure. Therefore, it's really easy to be really sharp on your high notes and really flat on your low notes. So on top of the mechanical tuning issues, this makes it even easier to get out of tune. Before we even say anything else, no, this is not a good ocarina, don't get it. The tone quality is airy and meh. The ergonomics are fine. In terms of aesthetics, this is far too dark a shade of blue to be an ocarina of time replica. The actual Ocarina of Time is a much lighter shade of blue, so this isn't even a good replica. Ocarina Wind, I heard good things about you. Why'd you have to hurt me like this? We still have one more from them to try. Wish me luck. Last from Ocarina Wind, and the last Ocarina we'll be reviewing in this video is this little plastic guy. This is a different smaller box than the rest of the Ocarina Wind instruments, so it's probably from a different distributor. That said, it still does have the same songbook, but it has a cute little Legend of Zelda protective pouch. But is it any good? The plastic one is the best one from Ocarina Wind. Make it make sense. Actually, it makes a lot of sense. Because plastic ocarinas can be mass produced, it's harder to mess them up in quality control issues. Ceramic ocarinas, even if they're made in bulk, need some customization done by a person. Therefore, quality control issues are super common in cheap ceramic ocarinas. Review time. The plastic Ocarina of Time replica from Ocarina Wind is in tune. Somehow. Next, the breath pressure is medium and has a very natural curve. The only problem with Zakarina is the tone quality. It is quite airy. That said, it's in tune and it plays naturally enough that you can learn how to play the ocarina on it. Amazing. There are no problems with the ergonomics. In fact, with the holes that have sub holes, there's an indentation so it's easier to slide your fingers down. And in terms of aesthetics, it's a much more faithful shade of blue to the ocarina of time. My verdict on this plastic ocarina is that it's not great. It's not good even because of the tone quality issues, but it's in tune and it has a natural breath curve and medium breath pressure. Somehow, this is the best ocarina I've had from Ocarina Wind today. Unfortunately, I was really hoping Ocarina Wind would pull through. So, is Ocarina Wind legit? Or any of the other random Ocarina vendors on Amazon for that matter? While I did get some decent instruments from Ocarina Wind, their ceramic Ocarina of Time replica was an Ocarina of crap. On that note, aside from a little bit of airiness, their plastic Ocarina of Time replica outperformed every single ceramic ocarina I bought from them. Even if some people have gotten good ocarina models from Ocarina Wind, and even if some other instruments are decent, like the plastic Ocarina of Time replica, just one piece of crap makes an entire shop stink. Even if there may be worthwhile instruments at Ocarina Wind, 
I cannot trust them. If they don't have the quality control to rule out unplayable ocarinas or ocarinas with any other major glaring issue, I can't trust them. In looking back through all the Amazon listings from Ocarina Wind, I found something really, really suspicious. This is the listing for the ceramic Ocarina of Time replica I purchased from Ocarina Wind. It says currently unavailable and has 32 ratings. I did some digging on their Amazon store and I found another listing for an Ocarina of Time replica. Same color, same price. I paid $16.99 for this Ocarina. This is 178 ratings, so this is definitely a separate Amazon listing entirely. This leads me to believe that they might do something fishy with their reviews or something else. Maybe if one of their ocarinas gets bad reviews, they close that listing and then write a bunch of potentially fake good reviews for the one that's closed to inflate what the listing looks like. Ocarina went on top of your mediocre instruments, you are extremely suspicious in your business practices. There might be an innocent explanation, but why the heck would you have two separate Amazon listings for the same product? Outside of Ocarina Wind, I did get pretty good ocarinas from AWEF and Zragic. Both of these were actually pretty good, and if you were in a pinch, I might even recommend them. The AWEF AWEF had slightly wonky ergonomics and way too low breath pressure for my liking, but it was in tune and had a pretty decent tone. Out of all the ocarinas I tried today, I actually really liked the Zragek. It was in tune, had good tone, breath pressure to my liking, and had no issues with the ergonomics. And honestly, I really like the porcelain looking design. But that all said, one ocarina from each of these brands is too small of a sample size to really understand if they're actually any good. Maybe I got lucky and got good instruments from companies that otherwise have consistency issues like ocarina. Wind. If AWEF's packaging being exactly the same as Ocarina Wind is any indication, it's probably from the same vendor and therefore I probably can't trust AWEF. But what's the verdict? Would I actually recommend any of these ocarinas? Kind of, but mostly no. I was surprised by the Zregek and AWEF ocarinas, with the Zregek outperforming the AWEF to me. But even if these inexpensive ocarinas from Amazon are any good, it is still best to support reliable, dedicated ocarina vendors. People like Songbird, Imperial City, STL, Knight. Noble, Luna Chelta, people like that. That said, if you're desperately wanting a ceramic ocarina and are on a very low budget, I have two options. One, save your money and wait. You don't need it right now. Wait until you can afford an instrument from a reliable vendor. Among these reliable vendors, Imperial City is generally the cheapest, so I'd look there first. But if you truly are desperate for an inexpensive ceramic ocarina, I might actually recommend the Zragic. And if you're in the market for a plastic ocarina, don't get the Ocarina of Time replica I tested. Just because it was in tune and had natural breath pressure, curve doesn't mean I would recommend it for most people. Get a Night by Noble or a Mountain Ocarina. They're great! And once again, affiliate links in the description. Thanks to instruments like the Night by Noble, Mountain Ocarinas, and reliable vendors that sell on Amazon, Amazon does have some good ocarinas. But unless you know where to look or who those reliable people are, don't browse Amazon looking for an ocarina you will probably find something bad. Ocarinas are amazing instruments, and it really hurts to see so many people think that they are the problem when they try an ocarina. With these people who buy cheap ocarinas from Amazon, the reality is the problem is the instrument, not you. If an instrument isn't in tune, no matter how hard you try, you cannot make it play in tune. Like, if you've bought one of these ocarinas before and you haven't had a problem with it, I don't want to discount your experience. Even if some people have a good experience with these ocarina vendors, I cannot recommend cheap ocarina vendors from Amazon, especially Ocarina Wind. There's just too much of a lack of quality control. Some of these instruments, like the one from AWEF and the one from Zragic, were good, but these are probably the exception rather than the norm. Do support reliable Ocarina vendors. They are the lifeblood of the Ocarina community. And if you must use Amazon to buy an Ocarina, always, always make sure it's from a reliable brand. Buy from Knight, Mountain Ocarinas, all of these brands do have listings on Amazon. Otherwise, you're gambling your money away with an instrument that might not work. Despite the negativity in this video, my goal is to help people on their ocarina journeys. And sometimes that means stopping people from making bad decisions. If you haven't bought an ocarina yet and are curious about why you might want to get one, I'd recommend watching my video on 7 reasons why to buy an ocarina. If that doesn't convince you, I'll cry. In any case, thanks for watching. Leave a like, subscribe for more, watch that video next, and I'll see you next time. Happy tootin'.